Fresh it. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right hey y'all and welcome back to my channel so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to talk all the way through this video only because i have my daughter in the back and i don't want her to be like you know what i'm saying but i did want to go ahead and get like pretty much into this video if you haven't already go ahead and like comment and subscribe my name is chanel and welcome to my channel it's gonna be really like a soft like glam i haven't done a tutorial in i don't even know how long it's been a while i think last time i did it was like last fall so yeah i already like washed my face and moisturized it um so i'm gonna go ahead and start to prime it and i'm gonna do my eyebrows last i actually used some got to be glue so i use got to be glue and like they're not gonna move at all and i also did my lashes like off camera um i got these off of amazon so um i'll try to put the link to them in the description um and i also did my lips yesterday so i'll put the link to that video in the description box below also just going to be chatting a little bit with you guys about what's been going on and you know how i'm liking some of the products that i'll be using also okay so boom <laughs> I'll be 30 next week. <laughs> shout out to all my girls that's 30 in the building. I mean, shout out to 20 years old, but you know, now I have the opportunity to actually be able to reflect on just my overall life and how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, I feel really, really good. Like, I feel like I have matured so much since I was 21 and it's like in a good way you know what I'm saying like I really feel like I don't allow people to get to me anymore and I'm not pressed about a lot of things that I used to be like pressed about so you know I mean that's a good thing I mean I I'm honestly just blessed to even see 30 you know what I'm saying just because the way that the world is right now I mean it's just insane like it's literally crazy so yeah I give all the glory to God and you know that's pretty much how I feel and I am going to be using some of the calamine lotion and I don't really use this that much because this gets a little bit tricky so you have to like really like I don't know you kind of have to just know like how much and how or how little to put otherwise I feel like you can you can like easily like overdo it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more primer so I use like a blur this one's really for like my pores y'all and I've been really trying to get my skin together I've been using this product by um, good molecules and then I've been using one by um, by ordinary for um it's the red one i think that one's pretty common popular um and i'm just using some of my elf like this one works really good for the for the grip and everything like that y'all y'all my daughter is so funny she we went well she's always in my makeup first of all because she see me like doing my makeup and stuff and so she tries to like she'll take the she'll take the beauty blender and be like this y'all and i'm like oh no honey he is not gonna do that but it is so freaking cute i was thinking about getting her like a little kit but then i was like i don't know is she too young like i don't know if that's i mean she'll be three next year so it's like i mean i don't know how this works <laughs> new mom problems you know first timers now i'm taking my nars which is about gone but this is in marquest uh, let me just put it on the screen that one and I really like to use this one along with my my born this way and this one is in the shade warm sand so I'm just gonna put it really evenly on the sides here just to this is where my pores will usually show at more so so the trick to it is y'all hear my daughter I told y'all 
I, I might start just, I might have to do a, a voiceover. Because we can't be having all that. I want y'all to hear me. Hopefully y'all can hear me well. But the thing about the calamine lotion is you want to make sure you're distributing it evenly on the face. So the way you distribute it is pretty much how like seamless your foundation will go on. So obviously doing it in a even layer like will definitely help and I don't really be going crazy I see some people like put it on very thick I don't just because like I said I'm not really crazy about the calamine lotion but I know that it does work yeah. Been that ass over, does it bring it back, back, back? I'm a big dog trying to eat the kitty cat, pat. I'm a slide in the way it fit. I can tell we match. Fall up on my racks, hella cheese. I don't put racks. Make crib in Hollywood. I don't even got it. Come relax, let it be the tap. Cause you wanna act. Take a look. So I try to avoid the under eyes um, just to prevent creasing and also um, when you don't really put so much under the under eyes like it gives you like a brighter look so like if I use a foundation and I usually go a little bit darker with my foundations just a little bit um, if I put that underneath my eyes it's just going to kind of prevent the whole like the whole thing. I'm just gonna use my brush and just literally like tap it in to my skin. And the stuff that I'm using, like the um the ordinary, it's like a face mask. It's supposed to be like a like a skin peel so like when you go to like the dermatologist like sometimes you could do like a medical like skin peel and stuff that's pretty much what that is and the process I'm not gonna lie like it is it does kind of suck because like my skin is kind of like breaking out a little bit like way more than it usually would like in areas that it usually don't um, but you know I've been humble about it just because like I know that the product is working like I said I did my lips y'all so you see how my face is looking like clear so we're gonna go in with this Juvia's um, concealer this is a number 10 so I like to use 10 or 9 but this one is more like my skin complexion like you could clearly see like it's not Number 16 and this is also Juvia's and I'm gonna put this one like on top of the one I just placed. Yes, but y'all, I'm so excited about my birthday next week. I haven't been out in so long, and it's so strange because um, I used to be, like, the one that goes out, like, all the freaking time. So, for my forehead, I had to use, like, a different one. This is the um, Color Perfect Black Radiance Stick because it just wasn't dark enough for me at the top so we had to really I have to really contour my forehead y'all like I could really go down like this like for real because 
my forehead is that big but don't come for me do not come for me i think i'm excited to be 30 like it's just a new like level for me oh crap i messed up Like my daughter has her breakdowns like every I'd say like two days I feel like she starts having like a breakdown like a meltdown like so dramatic I mean the dramatics are just award-winning at this point I'm like girl just bring more contour to my face there we go okay period because I really had to I was like, nah, I need it. Y'all comment below like some places to go in Charlotte though, for real. Because I'm going out, but I would like to go to, you know, a spot maybe if y'all recommend something. Because y'all be real quiet. Like, I don't know why y'all be so quiet. Because I get views on my videos. But y'all don't really be saying nothing. And I'm like, why are you not talking to me? Why are you not talking to me? Like, come talk to me. I, I am okay. I'm not me. I will respond. I love communicating with my subscribers. Because y'all really be motivating me for real. We're getting somewhere. And I like to use my Hadoo. This is what I'm about to use. This little sponge right here, this little black one. Can you see it? Yeah. This one, instead of like setting it with the beauty blender or even the real techniques, like that brush too. That brush is good. Like I really like that brush too. But sometimes I just feel like with this triangular one, I don't know. It's like the material of it. Like it really like be given for me so i like it to be like pointy like some people noses when they contour it to me it doesn't even look like a fucking real nose i'm like girl i mean to slim it out it's cool like you know if you do have you know a bigger nose but it's nothing wrong with like a big nose like everybody feel like you gotta look a certain way you don't have to look a certain way like you can look like yourself and be beautiful the way that you freaking look so I did do my lips you know I say all that and then I do my lips right but I did my lips only because y'all I didn't have no top lip I don't care what nobody say like everybody be talking about oh, you are fine. Hey, you look just okay like this is how I felt so it's like y'all telling me oh you look fine oh you look fine and I ain't talking about y'all. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, your family and, like, sometimes your friends, like, they feel like they got to, like, put in a two cent, which is okay. Like, it's cool and everything, but it's not really needed for real. Okay? It's not really needed because this is how I feel and it ain't nothing you could tell me that's going to steer me the other way. Head and set the face. This is one of my favorite parts, though. But it's also one of my scariest parts about the one makeup. Cause you can like contour your face like all right, do all that stuff correctly, and then you go to set your face. And honey, you don't set the jump right. It's like everything that you just did, everything that you just worked so hard for, been so particular about, it don't even freaking matter. Because you don't set your face wrong. It's like the good thing about makeup is so you can always pretty much fix anything when it comes to makeup like for the most part now some things uh, like eyeliner whew, girl you messed that junk up it's a wrap it's a riveting wrap but like you know even setting your face like say like okay like you went in too light somewhere like like for me like I like how my face sets with just this powder I don't really be feeling the need to go over it with another powder even though I could I just don't be feeling the need to 
um but you know you could set your face if you set your face and it looks too light you know you can always tone it down with another setting powder with another pressed powder I mean it's definitely savable um, but if you go in with a setting powder that's too dark I mean there's really not much you could do because once you put on something that's dark as far as like a setting powder like it ain't really no um, going back on that um, pound cake this one is really good even for people that are light like whites or people someone like me because I feel like it just gives you that universal like tone you know what I'm saying I mean this is if you kind of want like a glow so I like a glow so pound cake works for me I'm sorry I gotta hear Mickey Mouse in the back for real like but if y'all fucking with me go ahead and comment below like comment and subscribe you know like because y'all a real y'all really true like if y'all fucked it out this long I Laura Mercier and this one is in honey and I just use this one for my um, contour here and the thing when you do your makeup like you don't want to apply so much pressure Like you want to apply pressure but you don't want to apply pressure you feel me like you like my Anastasia I do have my Anastasia contour palette that I never actually freaking use I mean you can clearly see that it's one color that has been actually like used <laughs> um, I never used the other colors um, never had a desire to but I'm gonna go in with my True Complexion, this is also Black Radiance, and I go in with this first color here, and I use another angle brush, kind of like the one I use for my contour, just a, a new one, and I could go in, actually, I'm going to go in with the middle one, because it's a little bit darker. contour some people like to stop it like right about some people stop it about right there but I like to bring it like literally closer to like my nose a little bit I just I don't know I just do and we ain't even put the blush on and it's already like giving single I'm single I don't really talk about relationships and stuff on my channel but y'all probably already like know that I'm single I was dating someone I don't know if y'all seen it but you know things just don't work out you know sometimes you can meet someone and they can be great but if your lives aren't aligned properly then it'll just be like an unfortunate situation because you guys wouldn't be able to date because you guys lives are aligned correctly no one's fought like I don't I don't I don't get mad when like someone life isn't aligned with mine or like my life isn't aligned with theirs like I would hope that they wouldn't get mad about that but it's just like one of those things like I mean you can't really help that you know what I'm saying I mean maybe one day you know it can be a thing of like now our lives are aligned properly and we can actually have you know the relationship that we wanted to have but sometimes that's just not the case just don't like when people kind of lie like about what they actually want and then they try to kind of lead you to think that they want something that they just literally don't you don't have a lot of me <laughs> trust me like and my thing is once I'm over you like I'm pretty much over you like for the most part there might be still some like little lingering like feelings here and there but for the most part I am done with y'all this is a uh, pressed powder and this is in fit me and this one is in golden caramel actually gonna use my elf palette 
and it's this one here and it has four shades obviously I've used this shade like drastically um because it's like this baby doll like but I'm actually going to use the one below it and we're gonna just kind of sweep this on here a little bit which does tend to disappear i don't know <laughs> why blush likes to play hide and seek all the time but yeah you want to just kind of like dust it on there some people like to go in with the blush but then i feel like if you go in too crazy like it just defeats the whole contour purpose at least on the bottom so what I've noticed is that like the product won't really go on like nicely when you use that or even like if you use glue anything like that it just kind of holds it and then like they literally you can't really put product on top of it so I just wiped some off on the bottom here so that I'm able to at least like create my line Because like when you do your eyebrows, it's the face come together on my soul. <laughs> eyebrows look extremely thick. <laughs> but don't, do not come for me, okay? And then it's like my lashes are so long, they look like they're about to touch my eyebrows. Um, my daughter just ate a crayon. She is, I'm telling you. Yeah, my daughter ate a crayon, so I had to stop and get that together. All right, so I had to finish all that off camera, but I just finished my eyes. I'm about to go in with this Jacqueline Hill palette and this one is called Divine Neutrals. And they were in line about the neutrals, honey. I mean, there's so many like different colors. I don't know, like, should I just go ahead and do it? I'll have like some silver one. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Touch by Skin. about what I'm doing as far as eyeshadow I just kind of started doing something lighter like pink I'm just taking my Juvia's lace and I'm just going to pat this on my lips all right all done no, I'm, just kidding. I'm going with this lipstick here because it seems to be a little bit darker this lip color so I just wanted to lighten it a little bit Don't wonder we get in this shape. Too busy back 
all right guys so that clears up this video i hope you guys found this video to be super fun super helpful um and make sure you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video